but I've been working on an album and there's definitely a lot of rock vibes on mm-hmm. it. But yeah, I've always wanted to do everything. Like I hate boxes really bad unless it I has like some shoes inside. But I hate boxes except for yours. How would you know? Because I just know it's good. What do you mean? Yeah, smart. And I'm trying to unlock Pandora's box. Where's the keys? In my skirt. Hmm. Then we should get them. We're on camera today. You started it. And I'm going to finish it. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 y'all. It's your girl, Fanita. I got a podcast. The show before the club. This is where we sit, chat, talk, and we drink. B- bottoms up, bitch. Woo-hoo. Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Bottoms Up with your favorite sexy. She's black and she's that bitch, Fanita. And I have such a good episode in store for you guys today. I have someone who is sexy. She's cunt. She makes music for the real bad bitches. Pretty bitches stand up. Yeah. She's talented. She's multifaceted. We have Baby Tay! I'm actually um already pissed off, so I just want to let you guys know I'm already mad as f- because why the f- did you show up looking like this? You see, what's crazy is I'm I was actually gonna go a bit even crazier, but I was like, let me calm down because you didn't respond to my DM, so I didn't know what you were gonna be wearing. But that's I did not, try. I did about. try to coordinate. That's not what I'm talking about. You're I'm trying just, to eat me up on my f- set, and let me tell you, there's only one queen bitch around this motherfucker, and it's me. Don't ever show up looking like the prettiest bitch in the building again when I'm in this mother. You already know I was gonna do that when you uh accepted the mother. Yeah, we want baby Tate on the show. You know I was gonna come and eat it up. And you did eat it up, and I'm gonna eat you up after the show. Yeah. Dang. Um, baby Tate, you're from Atlanta, right? I am. And I was just telling you that um, girls from Atlanta put fear in my heart. I'm scared of girls from Atlanta. You should be. But why? No, I, I, I know. Why? Why? Because girls from that? Atlanta have nothing to lose. Like I'm not gonna lie, y'all. Like, <laughs> like let's say I'm in Atlanta, right? And I get my mm-hmm. hair done by hairstylist in Atlanta. And she my hair up, I'm gonna let her have it. Oh, y'all oh bitches are, y'all bitches are scary. Oh God, yeah. Yeah, I, I kind of do that too. Like, I think Atlanta bitches also put fear in my heart. Yeah, like, like I, I, I know like, she'll beat me the up, beat up my mama and my grandma and not give a Yeah, and be like, bitch, yo, what the Yeah, 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 yeah,
when the cops be like, oh, yeah, we in zone one, zone two, whatever the f***. So I am from Decatur. Okay. So this is not Atlanta. Hey, I don't really care what the f*** it is. <laughs> okay. And not Atlanta, not Atlanta. Who cares? <laughs> but I'm from Decatur and like a lot of people say that's not zone six, but it's like two seconds away. So like, mm-hmm. shut up. If I want to claim zone six, let me claim the f- police. And then are y'all going to be the f- up about it? And isn't. So there are a lot of rappers that come out of Atlanta. Yeah. Are there any ones that like you like take inspiration from or like that inspired you or do you just f- with? Um, I really loved listening to Migos growing up, like yeah. so much. I used College? To, yes. Freshman I mean, year? Well, I'm a bit older than you. No, we're 25. You're 25, right? I'm not. How old are you? I'm 30, babe. Damn. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was going to say, you're getting up there. I'm just kidding. I'm 27. Okay. But um, I am getting up there. Pushing it. Yeah, you are. You're knocking on 30's door. Hey, how y'all doing? So do you think um, when you turn 30, you'll get dentures or hit replacement? <gasps> Um, you know, I actually have been in talks, uh, about getting a a spinal replacement, Mm -hmm. um, because I just been carrying all these bitches on my back and, you know, it's been a lot for me. Mm -hmm. So I have been talking about that, but no, seriously. (laughs) (laughs) I had another joke that I wanted to say, but can I say it? Okay. But let's pretend like we're just still talking. Right. Um, are you wearing uh, blonde hair today because you're trying to hide your gray roots? Um, these actually are my gray roots. My grades just grow out blonde. I'm uh-huh. a special angel You're from God. You're one of them kids in Africa that they be posting on Twitter? Yes. Okay, when people nice. be like, black people don't be have blonde. Blonde. <laughs> Those like, kids need reparations. It's me. It's me. I want to know where they're at now because I, I feel like it's always like. the same kid. Yeah. Where is he? Where is that kid? And I wonder if he's like, damn, can y'all stop posting me? That was like Nobody 30 years ago. gave y'all permission. But anyways, um... Migos. Migos? Yeah. Um, I was in like high school washing dishes, listening to Migos, like mm-hmm. YRN. Mm-hmm. I actually, this one time I bought these headphones off of Amazon. It was like really, really cheap. And actually, I think I got it from Walmart, even worse. Um, and I was listening to Migos. Mm-hmm. And I remember listening to a takeoff verse. Rest in peace, takeoff, by the way. Yeah. And all of a sudden, the headphones started like crackling, like, mm-hmm. and they electrocuted me. In the ears while listening to the Migos. Because that shit was fire. It was that fire. Like, that shit wow. was fire. Yeah. I had a question about Have you ever met the Migos? I have not met the Migos. No. What? Why is that so surprising? Because you're maybe Tay. Uh, they should want to meet you. Actually, I met Quavo one time at Linux randomly. I took a picture with him. I was like in high school and my um, friend saw him. Linux is, I don't speak at Linux. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, yeah. yeah, so Linux is a mall. Okay. Uh, where people Ballin. shop. And... Oh, I've never been shopping. Okay, I could tell. Um, but oh wait, <laughs> <laughs> did that little bitch just try to gag me? I got you later on in the show. Go ahead. But I'm gonna get you back. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get you back. Go ahead. We was just you know vibing, and all of a sudden we like, is that Quavo? Mm-hmm. And it was Quavo, so we asked him for a picture. And did I didn't want to ask. No, he he's okay. He was very nice. But oh. I didn't want to ask for the picture. I'm like, y'all bitches is weird. Like, mm. y'all never seen a celebrity before. Like, oh my God. Yeah, yuck. I hate uh, people that like, I like listen to and like are popular. What like, the f- Beyonce, I'd be like, nah, f- Oh my God. Like, like, I don't want a picture of Beyonce. Like, like I'm uh, not going to be dicky. And, yeah, like, and, like, like that's blazing. Like, I'm not about weird. to be weird. Like, yeah. yeah. So in 2007, damn. Hold back up. Back in your day. Oh. Uh, I heard you were doing some wild shit. I want to show you a quick, quick clip and we'll react. Oh my God. <laughs> That's <laughs> insane, bro. <laughs> You've lived 40 lives. Here I come. What's hey. your name? You're hey. calling you Bob. Hey. 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 What? Brr, brr, brr. Hey. Hey. Okay, drums. Okay. Oh, and here I come. The little drummer girl. Go, little mama, let her go, little. Hey, Wait, go, what the f? Probably the turn up song. Little. Look at the shanty. <laughs> she gonna support her, man. Okay. I love that. I'm so glad they got back together. Me too. I don't know. They kind of inspire me to spin the block on somebody I me used to too. talk to. You don't. should do it. No. no. Why not? Because they're toxic. But sometimes it could work. Look at Ashanti and Ellie. We just said that. Not, and they look happy as f- They like, really do. her butt. Like, she looks... Every video she be recording <laughs> with Nelly, bro, she be looking happy as shit. Like, yeah, they maybe, cheesing hard. Like, dang. I love it. 
Um, so you was in a bob and you were drumming for Nelly. Were you really actually drumming? Um, I did not have a bob. Oh. Oh, you had a little mohawk. My I did have a mohawk. But I was drumming. And after that, everybody was like, oh my God, Tay, I didn't know that you knew how to drum. I don't know you were a drummer. Like, when did you start drumming? And I was mm-hmm. like, baby, I was literally hitting one fucking... <laughs> Anybody could do that. Like, wow. Do you play any other instruments? Um, At the time, I was playing piano and guitar, but I kind of stopped doing both of those things because I was being a f***ing loser-ass teenager that just wanted to You're be just cool. Being yeah, I was like, uh, playing piano so f***ing uh, lame, mom. Uh. What's that song on TikTok? Uh, mom, I don't want to wanna be famous. Uh, yeah. Damn. Being a f***ing loser. Damn. But, yeah. How was, like, high school? For you. High school was great. Um, I went to a performing arts high school. And oh, so Miss Victorious. Yeah, basically. Tori Vega. I thought that high school was gonna be like fame. Um, but it wasn't. We got to school, we were trying to like make songs in the hallway. And my principal was like, Get to class. This is not high school musical. Get to <laughs> class, students. So yeah, but I loved high school. Um, it was a very like just welcoming environment. Mm-hmm. Like anytime I see people getting bullied and stuff. I'm like, wow, that shit really happens, bro. Sometimes I feel like bullying is like a figment. I feel like that's only like a TV shit, like right. Like you, people's actually subbing people's like in the lockers and giving them swirlies and shit. Like that seems that seems crazy, insane actually. And so I never like dealt with any of that type of stuff at my school, and it was like 300 of us in the whole school too. So yeah, like, my school was K through 12, mm-hmm. 600 students. It was all white, but uh-huh. like. Like, yeah, nobody was getting... Like, there were people that, yeah. like, you know, like, were, like, the weird kids, but nobody went out of their way and, like, shoved them into, like, right. a wall. Um, right. Like, that's crazy. Yeah, stop bullying, guys. That's weird. Yeah, stop bullying. Stop the hate. Honestly, it's f***ing weird. You're um, weirdo. In high school, you were dancing a lot. Now yeah. you're performing left and right and dancing a lot still. Yes. But you have Peloton with a formal... Um, pe- 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 um, pe- 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 um, sorry, oh. give me a second. Um, I mean, a pe- 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 one more time. But tell a formal pain syndrome. Yes. Um, are your knees going to be f- 10 years? Um, hopefully not. I need to go. <laughs> <laughs> what the f- type of way to ask? <laughs> hopefully not. Um, what's crazy is I did a performance in Boston recently. And I did like an outfit change mm-hmm. in the middle of my show. And then the second outfit that I had on... I had just bought these boots from this this store out here. Mm. And I had never worn the boots before. And I certainly had never danced in the boots. Mm-hmm. And they were a size 8 and I wear a size 7. Okay, so they're too big. Yeah, and so, so I'm just fly. like, you know, just doing my things, doing my big one. And then all of a sudden, like, I do this one move and I feel my ankle kind of like just do a little ooh ooh. But I was like, uh, I'm fine because I'm so dramatic. Like, I will think I'm dying mm-hmm. and it'll just be a f***ing, like, I had to sneeze, Mm -hmm. you know? So I was like, oh, I'm fine. There's nothing wrong with my ankle. And then for like a whole week, it was just And so I went to the doctor and the lady was like, you sprained your ankle, babe. And I was like, see, the one time. Yeah, the one time. The one time, like, wow. I just felt so like validated. But then she also told me that I have patella femoral pain syndrome. Can you explain to me what that is? And I'm so not. basically, what's crazy is, all right, back to seventh grade, mm-hmm. I, when I was dancing in, in school and shit, I was walking down the hall one day. All of a sudden, my knee just like, <laughs> yep. I just couldn't walk. And my friends had to drag me to the nurse. She just gave me some Tylenol. I went home. After that, like, nobody cared about my f-ing knee. My mom, I don't think she took me to the doctor. I said, I, Basically. Mm-hmm. And I finally ended up going to the doctor when I was younger. And the man was like, it's nothing wrong with your knee. Like, you're mm-hmm. fine. But I couldn't bend it all the way. So I'm like, you're f-ing lying to me. Mm-hmm. Like, but you know daughters don't my face. F- they really don't, though. Especially to black women. Yeah. Let's get into it. But I was like, there's literally something wrong with my knee. Fast forward to when I went to the doctor and she told me I had a sprained ankle. She was like, yeah, you have this... Um, Pain syndrome where basically, like, my bones and my knees, like, have just been rubbing together. Mm. And so, like, I kind of can't bend this knee all the way. Mm. And she was like, you need to go, like, to physical therapy for it. And I was like, wow, thank you so much. Because for years and years, I was thinking I was crazy. Yeah. But now I know. Bro, I also have the case of the bad knees. Like, I had, like, knee surgery. Uh Uh-huh. I literally... (laughs) So, I played basketball in high school. And... uh, I don't know if it's ever happened to you, but like my knee would just always like just like pop out. Oh, like no. I would just like be like running drills, my knee would just like pop out, and I'd have like <gasps> pop it back in. And so like when I got to college, uh, I 
have I am very scary. I have a fear mm-hmm. of like scary shit. So like my friend was like, come to this haunted house with me, it'll be fun. Mm-mm. And so I was like, girl, like no, I don't like scary shit. But she didn't have anybody to go with. And I was like, okay, I'm older now. Maybe I'm not gonna be as afraid. Mm-mm. Like in my, you know what I'm saying, 18. Like go go be an adult. And so I go to the haunted house. They have the characters that can touch you, right? Uh-uh. We set the scene. So like. I'm looking around, you know what I'm saying? I'm watching my six. There's somebody that comes up behind me and I take off running, right? I sprint. Like, I'm doing the f- dash. <laughs> and she, they chase me. Uh-uh. They chase me. No. And so then I, I juke the bitch, turn around, sprinting back the other way towards my friends. And so then I'm like, huh, phew, guys. That was a close one, right? Somebody grabs my shoulder and I turn around really fast. Like, I was going to like square up, knee blows <laughs> in the f-ing haunted house. No. Then, so like my knee was spraying for like a while. And then like it healed and I was on crutches and shit. And then it was like my freshman year too. And it was a first semester of freshman year. And I was a girl on crutches. crutches. Aww. <laughs> well, you were memorable. But that's not, that's not, I'm not even done. So then. <laughs> no, there's more. In 2018, uh, I was in my friend's apartment and I was dancing to Milan. Like I had a broom and I was doing the choreography to like, I'll make a man out of you. Period. Let's get down to business. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes. And I tried to do this kick and I like blew my need a smithering and that's when my knee was like super oh. so then I had to get surgery I had like fragments of my kneecap under my knee I had like two different torn ligaments that's why I have this big ass juicy scar right here oh my god uh, yeah but like my knee's like sort of kind of okay now yeah. I, you know what I'm saying I can't really be putting the moves on the man like I want to because my knee right. don't bend like that like, right. they'll be like oh my god can you go wider like no nah, that's the max sorry babe yeah that's the max that's all I got for I, you I got, I got you right here that's but, all I got yeah bad knee girls hey link up <laughs> okay so for someone that preaches so much positivity and oh, wow. confidence in uh-huh. their music, does Baby Tate ever have a bad day? And yes. what would be the cause of it? Um, I do have bad days. <laughs> 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 my manager just lifted his hand for he's the cause of my bad days. But no. Mm. Um, <laughs> I have bad days for so many reasons. I feel like most of the time it's a lack of rest mm. that causes them. Mm-hmm. Like I'm just aggravated and everything is annoying me and then like the one time you go to like your key doesn't work and then you just break out of tears no literally I'm like <laughs> I've had it up to f-ing here yeah. I can't do it anymore but yeah I mean the internet be making me have bad days sometimes girl tell me about it when's the last time you cried um I don't cry often I don't have any water in my chart so um oh she said y'all are weak ass hoes no, it's just difficult for me to show emotion sometimes. That's but, scary. <laughs> hey, at least I acknowledge it. <laughs> um, <off> my set. <laughs> but I don't remember when the last time I cried was. Oh wait, mm, no. <laughs> Sorry. Um, probably watching a show or TV okay. or something. Okay, I don't nice, know. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah. Confidence in rap. Yes. And your song I am with the Flamilla, you probably yes. rap. I am healthy, I am wealthy, I am rich, I am that bitch. I am going to get that back and I'm gonna take your shit. I am protected, well respected, I'm a queen, I'm a dream, I do what I want, and I know and you get the gist, you wrote it. Right. Um, what did it take to find this kind of confidence in mm-hmm. life and in your music? Um, being real with myself mm-hmm. and kind of like realizing that I needed to instill that confidence within me. Because nobody else is going to do it. Nobody's going to do it, babes. And if anything, they're going to be trying to take it away mm-hmm. at every every, every step. Every turn. Everywhere you go. Mm-hmm. You're f***ing ugly. You're this, you're that. Uh, like, so I had to get to a place. And this was also Wait during pandemic. People be calling you ugly? Um, I have seen I have seen a couple uh, blind people say that. Yes. Yeah. Had to be. Yes. Um, But, however, it's... I was like 2020 pandemic time. It, it was dark. It was literally dark also in my house. Like yeah. we lived. <laughs> Although your lights got cut off? No. Mm, mm. No. Got you back. Mm, damn. <laughs> 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 no, like we just lived in a an apartment that like we were at the bottom mm. of the apartment building and like in oh, the first back. floor? Yeah, first floor. Oh. Right. Yikes. That's so quaint. Yeah. So cute. It was for the time being. Yeah, I'm sure. I loved that for me. What, like 600 then. square feet? No, it was actually 1,400 square feet. <clears throat> but anyway, um, so <laughs> we didn't get no light in there. Like that shit was depressive uh. as f- and so during that time, I was trying to find any way to like get myself happy yeah. again. And so I started like reading um, tarot cards. I started like listening to 
um, affirmations on mm-hmm. YouTube and doing like spiritual baths and stuff like that. And the affirmations that I was listening to was just boring as f- so yeah. I was like, I'm about to make some bad bitch affirmations. And that's what I did. Also, I feel like the light thing is so real. I feel like that's why I like living in LA because it's always like bright and like the sun is always out. Because yes. I feel like being in the dark, like that shit is depressing. It's depressive as f- Like seasonal depression is very f- real. Bro. And I need sunlight to live. When does your seasonal depression is this? Winter, spring, summer, or fall? Definitely like fall, winter. Yeah, it's around this time I start getting a little bit more sad than usual. Yes. Because but it's also, cold. It's getting cold too. Like you dress like that cloud. when it's cold. You look pretty warm to me, slut. Um, who's the one you? you? Be- <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. But yeah, like I feel like not having the sun. I feel like that's why like my mood is better. But mm-hmm. I will say thank God for like uh, global warming because like it's still warm in California. Um. Well, I don't know if we would thank God for that one, but let's look on the bright side. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. And it is bright outside. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, is there anybody that you would be like nervous as to collab with? Like Fanita? Let me on a track. Um, Let me lay something down. I don't think I'll be nervous. I feel like that I would be very confident in that because I feel like you're fire. Like, you know, you're very quick on your on your feet, witty. Like, you know. Are you flirting with me? Do you want me to? Yes. Then yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of you flirting with me, you're pansexual, right? Yes. Do you hook up with like everybody? Basically, that made him sound very slutty. Um, was it hard to come out? No. Um, I initially came out as bisexual on Twitter. Okay. Um, and I don't know. I feel like I like my first kiss was with a girl. Okay. So for me, I think society kind of just Planted in my head, like mm-hmm. you're supposed to be straight and just. Yeah. That's so mm-hmm. And so I was following that for a while, but like I just will always be like, I don't know, like you like everybody, yeah, like yeah, it don't I matter. No, the vibe is not vibing with yeah. just y'all. Like, why would I cut my options off like mm-hmm. that? I don't know. It's What's a lot your of, type? What is my type? Um. Well, I have a lot of different types. Okay, um, indulge me. I really just love hot people. I do number too. one, like first and foremost, sexy as hell, mm-hmm. makes me drool. Mm-hmm. Um, I makes also that fat mall wet. Right. Oh shit! I'm almost there. Keep um, going. <laughs> but I feel like outwardly, like appearance wise, I can't really no matter. pinpoint. You can, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You just like people that are sexy. Yeah. And people also, can be sexy in different ways. Yes. Yes. I also have this weird thing where I like people that look like me. Mm-hmm. Um, huh? A bit of a narcissism Sigmund there. Sigmund Freud. Y'all called him a madman. I never called him that. <laughs> I've never said a, such a thing in my life. So you like pretty bitches? Yeah, period. Mm-hmm. Pretty bitches. I be liking um, men that look like teddy bears in the face. Mm-hmm. Um, bitches that look like teddy bears. Cause I feel like I look like very teddy bearish. You really, you kind of really do. Not that you say that, you yeah. do. Yeah, I don't know. Just like cute. You're so cute. Right. Um, thanks. How are you? Thanks. You're welcome. I tried to like dress up for you today. Yeah, you did a very good job. Thank you. I'm trying to give like naughty school girl. Yeah. I need some f-ing punishment after class. I failed chemistry. You were very bad at chemistry. Actually. Yeah, I was so bad. I feel like you're getting better. Oh my god, with your help, I am. Yeah. Please yeah, stay after school. <laughs> <laughs> Let's cut it out. Right, let, me get back to, let me get back to the goddamn job. Okay. When you were making Hey Mickey, did you ever think you would be as successful as it has become? Absolutely not. Really? <laughs> no. It's so catchy though. I made that song when I was like, I don't even know you how just old around? it was. Yeah. Like I was just having a good time at that time. It was like 2017. I was broke as hell. I was homeless, living with my and friends, parents. You used to be homeless? I did. Oh my God. Yeah. Um, that's a even longer story. But mm-hmm. like I was staying with my friends, family. I made that song like just on my bed, mm-hmm. on my laptop. Like, you know? Mm-hmm. So I didn't expect, especially for it to be so old. Mm-hmm. I didn't expect it to come back like this ever. Yeah. And but, that song is about. Okay, yeah. you said it a few times, like when Stefani was one of your biggest inspirations growing yes. up. I feel like one of the things that makes Gwen so great is that she's able to showcase herself through multiple genres, punk, rap, pop, country. Is that something that you hope to accomplish, like to be like 
diversify your music? Absolutely. I feel like I want to see you be a rock star. Honestly, I have been working. So my EP just came out, um, but I've been working on an album and. There's definitely a lot of rock vibes on mm-hmm. it. But yeah, I've always wanted to do everything. Like, I hate boxes really bad unless it I has assume. like some shoes inside. But I hate boxes except for yours. How would you know? Because I just know it's good. What do you mean? Yeah, smart. And I'm trying to unlock Pandora's box. Where's the keys? In my skirt. Hmm. You know, we should get them. Or on camera, Tate. You started it. And I'm gonna finish it. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> what were you asking me? I boxes. Yeah. I hate boxes. I don't like like being locked into anything. I think maybe that has to do with the fact that my Venus is in Gemini. Wow, I'm having a lot of discoveries about myself right now. Yeah. But yeah, I just have always loved everything, and I just want to do everything. So I'm, like, I love that outlook on life because I feel like some people get so comfortable in like the routine and like right. being the same. Like so many people like are like afraid. To, like, yo, we're young, hot, and turn. Just do it. Try it. Do Who gives it. a f-? like? I don't ever want to be the person that's like older and be like, damn, I really wish I would have did that because right. People, one thing I have learned and that has always stuck with me: no matter what you do, people are gonna find a way to talk shit about it. Absolutely. So like you minus well. Minus well, guys. Just do it. Do that it. Shit. Like who's gonna check you? Is are you gonna get beat the fuck up for it? And you might. But <laughs> like, ain't nobody touching me. Uh, okay. I also heard that your dream producer collab is Pharrell Williams. That is my dream producer collab. I just love Pharrell. What um, all do you think could fit in one of his hats? Um one of my wigs. Mm-hmm. Um Probably my ass, but it, it would be a really tight fit because my ass is like really fat. Um, Ooh, is it? Yeah. I didn't get a good look. I, I mean, oh. I didn't want to be rude. Right, right. I appreciate that. I didn't want to gawk. I, I appreciate it. You're you didn't welcome. want to gawk? I didn't want to gawk. Okay. Um, But <laughs> what else could fit in his hat? Like so many things. And I just love a man like with a whole lot of hats, you mm. know, just do everything. And I don't know how tall Pharrell's hats are. What are you hiding? There's probably nothing underneath. Honestly, I mean, it's probably like a, a parrot. It Wouldn't it be funny if it was like a bird under there? Just like secretly telling him like... <laughs> it's like Ratatouille? The, yeah. It's like <laughs> the like, bird is the producer? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, no. Wrong notes. Yeah. 808. <laughs> um, let's talk about Baby Tay Presents Sexploration. Yeah. A musical. Give me Broadway. Yeah. Give me face. Give me theater, baby. Um, why yes. did you, why did you pick like a theatrical theme? Um, well, because I went to performing arts, you know, yeah. elementary, middle, and high school, literally all of the schools that I went I didn't, to. I didn't think performing arts schools were real. I thought that was just like Nickelodeon. Oh no, it's a real thing. I feel like more people and more performing arts programs should exist. I've only um, ever heard of like Juilliard. Yeah, well, you know, that's like college level. Pretty much everybody at my school, like my teachers was all like what are you doing after school? Like, what mm-hmm. are your plans after this? And if any of us would say like, oh yeah, like I think I want to study math or like psychology, they would get mad as f- like, damn, why? We can't have other why dreams? would you not go to Juilliard? Mm-hmm. And it's like, sorry, babes. Like, I you really remember, like uh, math. Save the Last Dance? You remember that movie? Um, I don't think I've ever actually watched that movie. With the white girl that got into Juilliard from doing this? And she was on the table? Yeah, and she was like in the chair? Yeah. Do you think I could get into Juilliard? Probably. With enough hard work. I'm so, like, I've just never had anybody that believes in me like you. I mean, I that's what I'm here for. I'm here to help other people believe like, in themselves. Like, I don't, I think for the first time on Bottoms Up with Finita, this isn't fake love. This is real. Yeah. Like, I, I truly feel like I'm enamored with you. Stop. There's something, like, captivating about you. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you made five music videos in five and and two days. Yeah. Ooh, yes, I did. How long? Wait a minute. And I know music video shoots me longish. Yeah. How long was the set days? Um, they weren't that long because thankfully with each video, so I wanted this to feel like very school play like yes, almost. Yes, I love a play. Yeah, and so each video, each song 
is like its own act. Uh-huh. And so, so there's, there's no, acts. yeah, there's five yes. acts, but there's no like costume changes yeah. going on. And that's really what be making music videos hella, hella long, mm-hmm. all the switches. So I think we shot three on one day and then two on another. And I want to say they were like eight, nine hours. How, how long were we there? Yeah, about 10 hours. Okay. Um, but it was exhausting for yeah, sure. I imagine. Um, I definitely cried at the end. That might be the last okay. time I cried. That makes more sense. Also, yeah. I was going to ask you, since you did like a theatrical theme, are you mm-hmm. into Broadway? Because I love Broadway. Yes. I love musicals and I love soundtracks. What's your favorite Broadway play? Um, my favorite Broadway musical is Legally Blonde the Musical. I don't think I've ever seen that. I didn't it's know that was so musical. good. It's so f-ing good. I'm not going to lie. Unpopular opinion. Y'all can y'all can stone him. I love Lin Manuel Miranda, and I just also think he's so unironically funny. Yeah, like I just think the shit that he be doing, like making a play about like Hamilton and like slavery, and then making the cast black, is hilarious. I'm sorry, and the soundtrack is so good. Yeah, and I also love Wicked, and I can't wait for it to come out this year. That's one of yeah. my favorite, like popular. Mm-hmm. Mm. Low thing, so unadulterated low thing for her face, her voice, her clothing. Let's just say we love it all. Period. I've yes. actually never seen Wicked. I only know like songs from it. I remember back in 11th grade mm-hmm. in 2015, my small town took a field trip and we went to New York. <gasps> my, my, you ever had like that teacher that like just like hated working and just like did shit? Yeah. So I, like my English teacher, shout out Miss Nell. Like she was also like our yearbook, but she would just like find ways for us to not have to be in school. I love so that. she would like make up trips for us to go on. And <laughs> she like finesses a trip to like DC mm-hmm. and um, New York. And I just remember being in the theater, seeing because I always have loved like plays. Like I love, I like love Grease, like yes. Into oh the Woods. God. Like yes. I've always been a musical girly. Mm-hmm. And I just remember seeing like Glenda like float down and then hearing Defying Gravity mm-hmm. live. And then also wow. just the the production value of Broadway plays. Yeah. It's yeah. if you have never seen a Broadway play in New York, that is something that has to be put on your bucket. It's so beautiful and the actors are so talented and they and you can tell that this has taken them months. Yeah. Like I seen um the last time I was in New York, I seen Back to the Future, the musical, and it was low-key kind of good. What's crazy is I have never seen a Broadway musical like in New York. <gasps> We have to go. I want to so f-ing bad. Literally every you. time I'm in New York, I never have time to go. Yeah. It's always just work, 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 work. Ah, let's, let's go, go to, to work. Our first date. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to take that. you I'm gonna take you to the arts. Because I know you're not used to f-ing with bitches that show you the final things in life. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> and I'm so tired of it. And I'll buy the tickets. Period. I like that's how that. much y'all so I know. That's right. Oh, we're going to talk about you being pansexual yeah. now that we're on the topic. Okay. Um, what does it mean to be pansexual? Um, pansexual really just means that regardless of somebody's gender, like you can be attracted to pretty much anybody. Um, so I don't really care about gender identity, like whatever you want to mm-hmm. be, call yourself. And sometimes I don't care about sexual uh, orientation, orientation either. Yeah, you know, I saw a video of you talking the other day where you was talking about bisexual men. Yeah, my sexual fantasy. Yeah, I, I agreed. I love bisexual men. Like, yeah, it's actually like let me not speak too much on it. Like, they just do. Okay, let me tell you why. Mm-hmm. Because like super straight men, like I don't like super masculine men. Right. Because they're never any fun. Like so, they don't want to lie. So strict. It's strict as f- over there. <sighs> like. You can't slap their ass. You can't play in their butt. <laughs> like you can't paint their nails. You can't like jokingly put makeup on their face. Like oh, slap the shit out you. Like I hate that it's shit. It's too much. And I feel like bisexual men, like they're just more adventurous. They're more yeah, open. There's, like, they have more freedom in their like self. Yes, and they're just like willing to do more. And like yeah. they're just like a lot more fun. And I just yeah. with it. What yeah. are like some common misconceptions that people have about being pansexual? Um, I saw some really very ignorant, dumb ass comments Ooh, get into on the babes. um a recent post that wasn't even mine, but somebody was like, "Oh yeah, pansexual, like y'all just be making shit up." Yeah, I must be pansexual too, cause this morning I cooked with all of my pans. Shut Wait, the f- up, boo! Like, what the f- are you talking about? Somebody was like, "So what? You like animals? Are you insane? What? Are you actually insane?" I just don't. I just don't understand. Like, even for like, even for me, like, 
Maybe it's because I just have like my frontal lobe like develop my frontal cortex. Right. But like some shit just isn't that hard to understand. Like I don't understand why people make gender identity and sexuality like such as like extremely nuanced thing that's so confusing. And it's not all the hard kids to are understand. just doing anything these days. Like it's just so hard. Like it's really not. Like it's not that hard to care. understand at all. And also like Google exists. Yeah, like you Google's type it free. on your phone. The same phone you typing on, you could have swiped out the Instagram app and gone to Google. What is pansexual? And then been informed. Yeah. However, it's pansexual just means that like, you know, you like whoever. Yeah, you like whoever, and it's but whatever. yeah, a lot of misconceptions. Um, is that, you know, just what the f- is it? But also like that we're whores and sluts. Mm-hmm. Um, have you ever had a threesome? Yes. Mm, with who, who? Who's in it? Two girls, two guys, one girl, um, one guy. It was a I girl said and the a scene. Guy. And then what happened? Uh, I actually just saw the girl last night. Did y'all like lick mm-hmm. each other's pussies or what? No, just grabbed each other's asses. We were at the club, but okay. um, you didn't invite me. Uh, you know, I actually would have if you would have responded to my DM. That was not my fault. They're jumping me on Instagram right now. I had to cut my f-ing messages off. And why must I suffer? Babe, I'm sorry. Right. Let me make it up to you. Right. Tonight over a lobster. Ooh. Come, girl, come on. Lobster. I live in a... I just, I just, I just, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so was the threesome good? It was great. And at that time, this was two years ago, like 2021. Um, and at that time, I kind of realized, like, OMG. It was, like, such a... <laughs> <laughs> now, hold on. Now I got to sit up. I'm, I'm... <laughs> I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting invested. <laughs> because this was like before I had um, realized that I was pansexual, mm-hmm. but like I knew I was bisexual. And during the threesome, mm-hmm. I was like, "Am I a lesbian?" Because you like you were like with the girl a little bit more. Yeah, and I was okay. really like, Into "Sir, it. thank you so much for your services, but, but you we can just focus it. on yeah. her now. Like, don't you don't even have to mm-hmm. touch me for real." But yeah, it was really great, um, great time. Let me tell you, you give me the vibe that you're a pleaser. Really? Yeah. Are you not? I just wanted to know why you thought that. I don't know. You have a very like alluring, magnetic energy, and yeah. I just feel like you have a very, you have a very like bright soul Thank and you. I just feel like you like doing like nice things for people so I feel like you would like eat my pussy perhaps until I came yeah I mean oh uh, what else would be I guess the- we should we should test the theory it's a good theory honestly I, I mean and I'm, I'm, I'm always coming you. up with a hypothesis and one thing about you guys know about Fanita <laughs> I'm a woman in STEM and I'm gonna get yes, the research yes black women in STEM <laughs> period okay if you got Eiffel tile Eiffel towered by two rappers who would it be <laughs> whoa <laughs> Um, okay. Megan Thee Stallion and Ruby Rose. Oh! Megan said, Megan called me fine ass Fanita like a week and a half ago and yeah. I will never, ever, ever stop talking about it. Yeah, I wouldn't either. I, I want to put Megan's ass on a plate. Yes. And I want to have a bungee cord system that hooks into her butt to spread her cheeks open. Uh-huh. I want to put on a bib. Right. Have a spoon, fork, and knife because yeah, I never know what her ass is a lot. So it's a lot of ass. Megan is so sexy. I saw a video of her the other day. Hmm. At her Halloween party, and I'm so mad. She Literally looked, every Halloween when she was party, pouring liquor into um Victoria Monet. Also, and she gripped her chin. I said. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh well. I was actually talking to Megan while she was on stage because we were like, I was like mad close to her, and I was like, Megan, you know, like, uh, like you're my wife, like I love you. And she's like, How long have we been married? And I was like, Two years. She's like, You know, I like girls, right? Like Megan, don't you ever don't play with me like that. I'm like I, I would <laughs> don't play, girl. I grip that. F-ing, mm. Yeah, she's beautiful, beautiful woman. She's gorgeous. Victoria Monet is super gorgeous too. Body's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Um, what are red flags? What are the red flags you look for in dating? Um. Extra strict. I hate that. I hate people. Like, can we just have fun? Can we just vibe? Like, like YOLO. What the f***? Also, I feel like sometimes people are so tr- strict, it makes me seem like I'm immature. Like, they're like, am I immature? Am I a child? Yeah, like... like I thought that I was just living life, having fun. Mm-hmm. I hate really strict people. I hate closed-mindedness yep, in me too. people so f***ing much. Um, oh, gosh. I hate... Um, I hate misogyny. Yep. 
um, any form of that just turns my cooch into Jesus's ashes. Mm -hmm. Um, Whoa. Dust. And so, yeah, I hate that. What else do I hate? Mm, Red flags, red flags, red flags. Acting like you don't got no money Mm -hmm. or like- They be calling you big money? I've never been called that, but if I were, I would literally disintegrate. Like, yeah. don't ever speak to me again mm-hmm. because what the f- are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> okay, big money. I've please call me little coin. And it is also like, I just have a job. Like, <laughs> like I'm scared. You, now. You'll, are tell, you gonna you'll tell me? a dude. You'll tell a dude like, yeah, I'm just, I'm just like going to work. Okay, I see you, big money. I'm just employed. Are you planning to rob <laughs> me? Like, what the. F- is big money's here. frightening. Yeah, like big. Somebody call me big money. Big money is bone chilling. Yeah, like you just I scare me. I just want to like lock all of my money away. In a yeah, safe I, you're and you're like never coming to my, my home. No, literally. I gotta hide my f-ing jewels. Yeah. Hate um. That. Okay, I heard in an interview recently. You really do be going back and forth between the studio and your home every day, and that's it. Mm-hmm. Baby Tate is rarely outside in L. A. How do you stay inspired if you're not outside with the girls? Um, that's a great question. I feel like a lot of my more recent music has been like very, um, like self reflective. Mm-hmm. And so I haven't super been outside, but recently I've been outside more, but it's also for work. So mm. the next time you shoot a video, can I um, be a video vixen? Yeah. I can dance. For sure. Tonight I want to dance for you. Oh, tonight I'm going to put my body on oh, your body. Right. Girl, you like it when you watch me. Uh, tonight it's going down. I'll be rocking on your bed. I'll be rocking on your bed. Swirling on. Swirling, swirling on. Y'all be on the lookout for that video. That video's going to fucking eat. Yeah. Okay. Last question. Then we're going to get into my little, my other segments that are fun. Okay. Um, okay. Last question. Your manager called. And said, you have to go to the studio right after to write a song about anything of your choosing. What are you writing an entire song about? Mind you, you just... <laughs> hold on. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. So Devin writes these and the fact that he said, mind you... Mind you. <laughs> <laughs> I love mind Devin you. knows me too too well. Mind you, you just left from hanging with me, so I'm always an option. But if today is not the, d- the day for that one, what are you writing about? Like, you got to go home and write a song immediately. What are you writing about? Like, I need something tonight by EOD. Tonight? Um, what would I write about? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh my God. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Um, I think I would write about um our first date. In New York, going to Broadway, and just like I can't wait it would to go. Be about, so like, it would be about like showing, like it, it would have something to do with like a play on the word of like show, like she mm-hmm. you showed me so much, but also like yeah. you were a show, like yeah. I'm a show you. Yeah. I can show you the world. You know what? Uh, uh, I am uh, absolutely enamored by you. Yeah. Do you think you give good advice? No. Perfect. Uh, it's time <laughs> for Bonita's Fan Fiction, where you guys call in and we're going to answer your f-ing questions. Baby Tate, you can answer the phone first. Okay. Does that look like a white woman's vagina to you? No, it looks like brat slips. Um. Oh. Hello? <clears throat> I f***ing Bonita and Baby Tate. Quick question. When y'all are surrounded by these fine individuals, you know, men, women, days, gays, all those motherfucking people. How do you choose the best one? What, how do you have the self-control to not just be like, ooh, I want to fuck you? <laughs> and like, actually fuck them. That's my question. Mm. And I need this to be answered by fucking baby Tate because she's my panty queen. I love her. And period, that fucking album, that fucking shit that she just shot, was banger. Period, period. And I love you, Benita. Oh. Love you too. Uh, um. So, how do I not f- them? Yeah. Why I know I it's hard that? for you to not f- them. Literally, babes. Why the f- would you do that? Like, if you see somebody and they're fucking sexy, you want to fucking do it. Fucking do that, it. That that London accent is really good. Thank you. I'm really good at accents. What else? What other accents can you do? <laughs> 
<laughs> Have you ever seen that one clip of um, Little Mix? And they were like, they asked Jesse Nelson to do a Jamaican accent. Yes. And she's like, Run. <laughs> Um, what other accents can I do? Turn honestly, me on. Honestly, pretty much just that. So, um, I I mean, I do meet a lot of hot people. Uh, all the hot people I meet are gay, so like, I don't have a chance in hell of f-ing them. And like, gay men just love to play in my f-ing face. Right? Also, all the gay men in LA are fit as. F-ing. They're so. Fun. They all look good ish. It's actually insane. Bro, I went to a gay club last night. I did too. Um, Wait, no, we went. Oh, it was Saturday night. I didn't uh, go last night. I went Which to one? Heart and. Oh no, I haven't. Well, I have been in there one time. Yeah. And my friend. She f- one of the go-go dancers upstairs. Bitch, look, them mother f-ing dancers. One of them was on this f-ing ring in the air, and he was I just love, bouncing I'm up and lie. down, and had the let. I said, "Oh my god, I'm turned on." Them thick booty bitches in the G-string thongs with they cup in, Ooh. they be getting all my cash. I love. And then I remember one time, like I made out like one of the go-go dancers. I was like, "Shit, man, maybe some of y'all are straight." I'm screaming. <laughs> maybe they buy. Maybe they pan. Yeah, I don't give a. F- what it is. I just wish like some gay men would just want to try pussy again. Like, just go back to your straight era just for a second, just so I can get a taste. Cause like I don't like when I, my gay friends are like, no, if you need to like I hate pussy, like you didn't hate it when you were 17. So like Shut up. <laughs> they probably did. <laughs> they probably tried that. Well then like, and pretend again. Mm-mm. You was pretending for that damn long. You mm-mm. can pretend one more time. They said, no, <clears throat> thank you, babe. Hello. Hey, Benita. It's your girl, Jen. Hi. And hi, baby Tate. I'm such a huge hey. fan. Oh, okay, so I've got a question for you all. Um, I just really want to know how I can slut a man out. Mm. That's um, Yeah, like what is the best way to sort of go about that when I am, you know, kind of starting to get to know somebody, but I just really want to get freaky on this let him out. So can you give me some advice on that? All right. Thank you. Love no problem. you. Bye. Absolutely, Jen. First of all, I really appreciate the fact that Jen says slut a man out and mm, not, not slut, slut a nigga out. out. Yeah. No, no, no. Hmm? And not slut a nigga out. Thank you so much, Jen, for Because she did sound a little bit Caucasian on the phone. And I really appreciated it. Truly. Mm-hmm. But how do you slut a man out? Um, When you first get to know him... Honestly, I don't know. I feel you like, might scare the hoes. No, I feel like I feel like at least when I've been wanting, like I, you know, I cut straight to the case. No bullshit. Right? Like, why your pants still on? Yeah. So like, I am like super straightforward. Like, cause like most men want to, f- like yeah. men aren't like you know what I'm saying. With a girl, you got to be a little bit more. You know what I'm saying. But like yeah. with guys, like they're horny. They'll f- a tree bark. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, you with don't a big have enough to, hole. You know exactly. Like you don't have to like be like like f- intricate when it. Like you tell that boy come over at 12 a.m. and he gonna come over at 12 a.m. and he gonna. F- yeah, but honestly, I think straightforwardness is the best thing when it comes to like any type of slutting anyone out. Mm. Like, yo, and people like that. Yeah. Like, I'm trying to f you. What's up? Yeah. And then also, it's like sometimes, like, and also it depends on who it is. You know what I mean? Because, like, sometimes, like, guys say that and I want to mace them. Um, because, like, that was scary. <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> but if a hot I guy says a, it, it's like, I think when a, when a woman says it, it's no, when a woman yeah. says it, it's super sexy because it just like it exudes confidence. Yeah. You know what you want. You're straightforward. Like, oh, that bitch is a real. F-er. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Freak, have a good time. Freak, freak, freak nasty. nasty. <laughs> okay. That concludes <laughs> uh, Baby Tate giving horrible advice. Woo. Um, You're welcome. Now we're going to play. The name game, which is a game that you should be good at, because you're a rapper and you write your you write your own music, right? Period. Do you? Period. Okay, making sure. Um, so our producers are gonna give us a name, and then we're gonna like make a little rap and a little rhyme to it, and then whoever like doesn't have one loses lose. a point. Yeah. Okay. Period. Okay. Uh, Gucci Mane. He's calmed down. That's Gucci Tame. Man, Gucci can't f- drive. Gucci can't stay in his Gucci lane. Ooh, uh, Gucci Mane. He got a pimp walk. That's Gucci Kane. Damn, why was I about to say that? <laughs> um, <sighs> damn, Gucci back hurt. He had some Gucci pain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Gucci gave me head. That's Gucci brain. Ooh, period, period. Mm. Oh wow. Gucci made my pussy so wet. That's that Gucci rain. Ooh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gucci has nice hair. That's Gucci Mane. Mmm. That was a double like entendre. Like a lion, period. Rawr. 
Um, ooh. What the <laughs> f- That's what I'm saying. I feel like we said all the words around with man. Right. I'm like, oh. um, Gucci is fucking crazy. That's Gucci insane. Okay. Next name. Okay. <laughs> um, what the hell? Yeah. Hold on with me. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Will Ferrell made me scream. That's real scarol. <laughs> Period. Period. Um, Will Ferrell is in distress. That's Will Peril. Damn, you have a very diverse vocabulary. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Will Ferrell. You got this. I believe in you. I don't have anything. I can't. Okay, you go again. Okay. Uh, Will just want a nut. That's Will Squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. Thank you. You're it's very attractive. My... Yes. Thank you. So are you. Thank you. Yeah. Your energy is, again, is captivating. Same to you, honestly. Thank you. I yeah. can't wait till we go like see Wicked on Broadway. It's going to be fun. It's going to be great. Yeah. I'm about to eat a hot dog after. Um, well, I don't eat meat. Oh, you don't? You're vegan? I'm pescatarian. Okay, so you do eat meat. Well, well, <laughs> sort of, kind of. <laughs> well, sort of, kind of. Um, what's your favorite fish? Um, I love a, a nice, juicy cod. I was about to say sea bass. I love sea bass, too. Sea bass is I was so going good. To, yeah. yeah. It's Those so two, flaky and like melts in your mouth. And it's oh, so like just like light. Oh wait, what's the next? What's the next? Yeah, what's sorry. the next name? Oh, oh okay. Uh, sexy red. She ain't my pussy. That's sexy head. Period. I mean, sexy got some real nice sheets in sexy bed. Okay. Uh, sexy's made of steel. That's sexy lead. Ooh. Sexy a under <laughs> undercover cop. That's sexy bed. <laughs> Sex. <laughs> Uh, sexy has left us. That's sexy dead. Aww. sexy do it the best. That's sexy dread. You know what I'm doing the best. Oh yeah. You know what I'm doing the best. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Mm. Jordan made me cry. That's Jordan feel. Jordan stood on business because Jordan real. Hey. Jordan stole my heart. That's Jordan Steele. Wow. Jordan was built strong because that's Jordan Steele. Okay. You just said what I said. Cool. Um, <laughs> Jordan's a whole snack. That's Jordan Meal. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. <laughs> feel like we're doing like a spoken word. Jordan said, you know what, Jesus? I got it. This is Jordan Will. I was literally going to say that. <laughs> Jordan said I got a split. That's Jordan Peele. Oh! <laughs> Period. Um, Jordan just fell over. That's Jordan Keel. Hey! <laughs> okay. All right, so I'm going to say my... That's it again. Um, we were destined to meet. That's baby fate. Hmm. And when we go to Broadway together, these hoes gonna be so mad. That's baby hate. Mm. When we're laying in bed together at night under the covers, that's baby mate. And when you do what you're supposed to do, I hope baby ate. You weren't on time today. That's baby late. Mm. And I still did an amazing job because baby great. Hey, you ain't that. <laughs> You ain't that. You ain't that. That's a gag. <laughs> Ooh, gag me. I don't want you to go. Like, I've been, like, I'm not going to lie. I have had a great time having you here. Like, you're so beautiful and captivating and gorgeous. And I'm Thank kind of, you. like, in love with you now. Um, mm. I think you might be my very first girl crush. And, like, I don't know. Something, like, strange about your energy that I'm loving. Um, <clears throat> and I'm being so serious. Anyways, um, unfortunately, I'm, like, sad as f- Like, it's... Wait, let me ask you a question. What's your sign? I'm a Leo. Ooh. What are you? I'm a Taurus. Don't huh. do that. Don't do that. Anyway, um, you just let's like let's not let's not end there. Right. 
Baby, tell them what you got coming out. Tell them where they can find you and tell them what you, they, they could be looking out for. Yes. So, Sexploration, the musical, is out right now everywhere. Um, the videos are on the way if they're not already all out. Um, what else? You can find me everywhere. I'm Baby Tate. That is the letter I, the letter M. B-A-B-Y-T-A-T-E. Um, what else? I'm a bad bitch. Sure. And so are you. <sighs> Thank you. Oh, are you talking to them? Yes. Oh. And so are you. Thank you. Yes. You know I do everything for your validation. Oh, don't do that. No, no. Like I like. I just want you to like love me. I don't do that. Love I, you. I won't if you just love me. I do. Just love yourself. I mean, I do love myself, but Period. I also love you too. And I just want to like have that reciprocated. Like. I, you don't feel it? I kind of felt something. Okay. Did you feel the electricity today? Yeah, the chemistry. Yeah, it's off the charts. <laughs> <laughs> and it has been another great episode with your fabulous host I'm sexy as shit with the sexiest guest thank you so much for coming on thank you're you. beautiful you're gorgeous I look forward to exploring more of this yes. off camera uh, you can find this podcast on the Passive Bedtime YouTube channel make sure you like comment and subscribe and comment your favorite part about this podcast and you can find me Fanita the baddest bitch on the f internet the most hated um, at Instagram and TikTok at Fanita. Um, and I will see you guys again next Monday. All right, bye. Love you guys. Bye. <laughs>